Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23424. This is the build that Microsoft released today. And as always in this video, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel. And tomorrow, I'm going to make sure to post a video about the new build for the Canary channel, because we also have a build for that Windows Insider channel as well. So if you enjoy videos like these, in which we talk about different Windows Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by KeysOff.com. If you're looking for a place to get Windows 10, Windows 11 or Office licenses at a very good price, you can check the KeysOff sale. For example, you can get the Windows 10 Pro license for just $7 by using the coupon code TB50 and you can also upgrade for free to Windows 11 by using the coupon code TB50, you can also get Windows 11 for just $13. Office licenses have an even better discount with 62% off by using the coupon code TB62. Check out the great prices from keysoff.com in the links from the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon codes. First of all, Microsoft is beginning to roll out an evolved widget board, which is basically a three column widget board. This will only show if it is supported by the device and also new zones to provide users quick access to glanceable widgets from their apps and services as well as enable users to take a break from their personalized feed. This is slowly rolling out, so you may not see it right away, but if you want to enable it manually, you can check out a video that I did previously this week in which I showed you how to enable this manually. Also, Microsoft is introducing the Content Adaptive Brightness Control inside Settings on plugged-in devices, including desktop PCs, so you should be able to see this under Settings, of course, System, Display, and Brightness and Color, and you're going to have a drop-down off, always, or on battery only. For battery powered devices such as laptops and two-in-ones the default is on battery only on desktop pcs this is off by default and of course if you enable it on always depending on your battery life or depending on certain content that is shown on the computer the screen contrast and brightness will be optimized i think this is a pretty interesting addition for microsoft microsoft also made a change to help improve performance when using a high pulling mouse while gaming another new addition in the settings app is the new section inside windows update get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Insiders will begin to see a new toggle under Settings Windows Update for getting the latest dates as soon as they're available. This new toggle is meant to be used in the beta channel to allow insiders to switch more seamlessly to the enablement package, but because the dev channel does not use an enablement package, turning this toggle on will not do anything for insiders in the dev channel. However, by turning it on, a Windows configuration update will be offered via Windows Update that is designed to help Microsoft make sure that this new toggle is connected to their backend services correctly before making it available in the beta channel. This update introduces nothing new for insiders. I think this is pretty interesting and uh, should not affect in any way the experience. Also, Microsoft improved the performance of search within settings. And also, the settings page for real devices such as the Surface style has been updated to better match the Windows 11 design principles. About new features, this is all there is to it in this newest Windows 11 insider preview build for the dev channel. Now let's talk about some fixes. Some general fixes, Microsoft fixed an issue that was caused voice access to take some time to turn on after using the wake up command. Regarding the file explorer, Microsoft fixed the issue causing an error dialog to pop up when clicking on the open file location command. They also fixed the issue causing no action to occur when clicking on the remove from list command. Regarding input, Microsoft made a change to improve performance when using a high report rate mouse while gaming. Related to settings, Microsoft improved the performance of search within settings. Regarding windowing, they fixed an issue from the last flight where Microsoft Edge tabs would show when doing all plus tab even if settings system and multitasking was set to do not show tabs and we also have a fix for the task manager basically in the task manager microsoft fixed an issue where the search icon could end up overlapping the task manager icon in the title bar and regarding the dev channel this is all there is to it if you want to check out more information as well as the known issues make sure to click on the article from the description below if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.